Inventory control. 1. Purpose of inventory control. When products or materials are out of stock, sales and manufacturing suffer. On the other hand, when inventory levels are too excessive, storage costs increase and money is wasted. Useless inventory with no future delivery prospects is called bad inventory. Bad inventory with no market prospect is referred to as dead stock. The purpose of inventory control is to maintain optimal inventory levels by reducing bad inventory and shortening out of stock inventory times. Two ordering systems for procurement. The important unknown variables are when and how much product must be ordered. In order operations, one or the other variable is fixed. A periodic ordering system has a fixed ordering time and a variable product quantity, while a fixed quantity ordering system has a fixed quantity and a variable ordering time. In addition to the typical periodic ordering system and fixed quantity ordering systems which are typical ordering systems, here we will also provide a brief overview of an easy to implement management system called the double bin system. A. Periodic ordering system A system that places orders over a fixed period is called a periodic ordering system. The interval between one order and the next is called an order interval or order cycle. Examples are monthly orders which occur once a month and weekly orders which occur once a week. This system is used primarily when the need to manage inventory carefully is required, such as when the cost of maintaining inventory is high, or with products whose demand is difficult to predict. B. Fixed Quantity Ordering System Also known as an ordering point system, a fixed quantity ordering system orders a fixed quantity of products when deliveries cause inventory levels decrease to a fixed level, order point. The time from when a product is ordered to when it is delivered is called a procurement period. In addition, the minimum required inventory quantity in order to avoid shortages is called quantity safety stock. The order point in a fixed quantity ordering system is the sum of quantity safety stock and the quantity, estimated demand, necessary to compensate for procurement periods. A fixed quantity ordering system is used when the cost of managing inventory is not high which it is relatively easy to forecast demand. C. Double bin system. A simplified version of the fixed quantity ordering system, the double bin system requires two bins of stock for each product. When one bin is emptied, an order is placed equal to the quantity of items held by one bin. The system is applied when working with items that are not labor intensive such as consumable goods. Three, economic ordering quantity, EOQ. Inventory control costs can be divided into two types. Inventory holding costs such as warehouse fees and ordering costs such as labor and shipping fees that result from orders and purchases. These are collectively referred to as total inventory cost equals holding cost plus ordering costs. 
Holding cost is basically proportionate to inventory quantity and the ordering cost is determined by the number orders that are made. It is difficult to determine the ideal ordering method, to order frequently and maintain a low inventory cost, or to lower ordering costs by decreasing the frequency of orders placed. EOQ provides a method of ordering product quantities that minimize total inventory cost. The graph shows how inventory holding cost, ordering cost, and total inventory cost, inventory holding cost plus ordering cost, changes according to inventory quantity. In this case, the order quantity Q which minimizes the total inventory cost, becomes the EOQ.